First things first, you can hold left or right to set where you start. If you hold left, you'll end up on the left corner. If you hold right, you'll end up in the right corner. Select can be assigned to save state, record, or both. Press once to set state, then press again to jump back to the state. Hold select to delete or press this shortcut. Recording works the same way except the first press lets you control the dummy and the second press starts the recording. If both is selected, then you'll jump back to the state and your recording will play. Put your learning material somewhere convenient, set a state right next to your dummy, and then set your dummy to block after first hit. If you have trouble with timing, try slowing down or speeding up your inputs. Make sure you practice your combo on both sides and on different weight classes. If your combo has a stagger point such as Pummel Horse, make sure that stagger recovery is on, otherwise you could learn a timing that is too slow. Break what you're learning down into smaller chunks, then put it all together. If a part is difficult, you want to focus on that part first. Once you're comfortable in training mode, try to land it against real people. If you're still stuck, don't be afraid to ask for help. By this stage, you should be able to do your combo no problem, but you press too many buttons when they are blocking and you get punished. To fix this, set your dummy to random block, then poke with your first light and medium. If they block, you stop. If they get hit, you continue your combo. Practicing a reset is similar to a combo, but you want your dummy to be open to getting hit again. Do this by setting your dummy to block low, or high, or never. You can also set the dummy to play recording on reversal where they press a jab. Alternatively, try an on reversal super to see if they can escape that way. Practicing burst baits is the same as doing a combo, except you can change how fast they burst and after how many hits. You can also set the drama meter, also known as the undizzy bar, for burst baits at the end of a combo. To practice the double snap, start training mode with a duo with the second character using taunt assist, which you can access by going to custom assist and pressing start. Start next to the corner and save state. Then record your dummy calling assist. Then set select to both. Now hit select and practice your double snap. I recommend Squiggly and Big Band because they have wildly different weights and Squiggly tends to hide inside of Big Band's hurt box. So if you can land it on these two, then you should be able to land it on everyone. Similar to learning the combo, but you want a state where they're open to being counter hit. You can set this up by turning on force counter hit. If you want a more authentic example, execute a burst bait, then hit select when the dumb bursts. Or record them doing a punishable move such as a super, then set your state, then press both to practice blocking and punishing. To learn how to push block guard cancel, record a string or pressure sequence you have trouble with. Set your state and hit both, give it a go. Enable advanced attack data to see when the box flashes green. If you do it right, you should see your character flash green as well as the box. Try to push block guard cancel into a jab at first, but then try more advanced moves like super. Learning this technique is very useful, especially since there are some moves that can only be punished with this technique. Here is the IPS display, which shows you what moves you have used up in your combo. If you press a button that has already been used, then IPS will trigger and they can burst. The top half of the circles represent jumping attacks, and the bottom half of the circles represent ground attacks. Crouching and standing occupy the same slot in your combo. At the bottom here you'll see two numbers. The number on the left represents the startup time of the move. The number on the right represents the frame advantage. This is useful because jumping attacks can have variable frame advantage depending on positioning. For example, if I delay jumping medium kick into jumping heavy kick here, I can actually link it into standing medium kick. 
You can use these numbers to figure out what moves are safe, unsafe, what links together and what doesn't link together. Uh, open up your properties, then add enable replays to your launch options. Review your replays and record them with a video program like OBS, since future game updates can make existing replays desynchronized. Find the parts in the game that you struggle with, then reconstruct them in training mode. Test out what your options are. Good luck and happy training.